verse 1 to 3. He reads, And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, okay. holding the four wings of the earth. Okay. And the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. Okay. Two, and I saw another angel ascending from the east, okay. having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hold the earth okay. and the sea, saying, Hold not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our God in their foreheads. Okay. Now, you see, which means that God had already sent down the four angels that were to hurt the earth. Okay. Which means man had completed his life, everything had been completed. Okay. Those who endured were there. Those who were not endured, who did not endure, were also there. Okay. Then it was at that point, just before the, the angels hurt the earth, that that angel said, please, don't hurt, any, don't hurt the grass or the trees until the seal of the living God has been placed on the foreheads of the children of God. So that seal represented like when God wanted to, to kill all the firstborn in, in Egypt okay. during the sojourn of the Hebrew children there. Okay. What did God tell the Hebrew children to do? That they should kill the rams and then sprinkle their blood on their, on their doorposts. Okay. Uh, you get the point? Yes, so that when the angel of wrath, when the angel that came to kill, we, we see it, it will pass by. Okay. That's exactly the same thing. So, so that 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 the blood that they sprinkled on their doorposts became a seal oh, okay. to seal them off from okay. any destruction. Okay. The same thing now at this end of time, when the angels were the angels have already been released okay. to come and hurt the earth. When they are hurting the earth, they are hurt, it's only human beings. Okay. Because all the other elements in creation obey God's instruction. I said it the other day. Everything, the sun rises and sets at the right time, the moon rises, the rain falls, the night comes in day, the, the, the earth you know, releases its plants and they bear fruit. So everything, even the animals, obey the instructions, it is only man and that has gone astray. Okay. That is why the hot thing is going to hurt man. So equally you're saying these particular people that um, the angels are talking about that until they are being seen on the forehead. Yes. Are these particular people those that have endured till the, the end? Okay. And it is it, it they, they do not they do not just carry out the instructions of God. Okay. In addition to carrying they were able to endure okay. to the end. Resisting the devil all the way. Okay, because that, that's that's what I want to ask you mm. a question. Because, the devil. because we have prominent children of God, likewise men of God. Mm. You know who who have been out there doing the work of Christ and then mm -hmm. winning souls for Him. Mm -hmm. now, what happens if these people mistakenly go astray? Does this mean it's a total cut of no consideration because they do not endure to the end? Now the Bible says you must endure to the end. Now that is why God gave us a lot of examples, like the Judas Iscariot person. Okay. Now the truth is that. You see, there are four types of human beings. Okay. The first set of human beings are those God will take them and take their work. Okay, so we have some people that God will take them and take their work. Yes. Okay. There's the second group that God will take their work and, and leave them. God will take their work and leave them. And then leave them. Why? Because that is how God has designed it. Because, you see, whatever work you do, Whatever work you do, you are not the person doing it. Okay. It is God that is giving you the ability to, to, to be. So okay. you cannot, that is why everything God says is doing everything. You cannot give glory to yourself. Okay. If you do that, then that's a mistake. So if God has given you the ability to say, okay, let me use the one we got, to raise money and build churches and build cathedrals, help the poor, do so many things. That is why uh, verse, uh, First Corinthians chapter 13, verse 1 to 10, Expressly says that if you like, give your your goods to the poor, give yourself to be burnt. See all the visions, have faith to the extent that you can move mountains. That if you don't have love, 
All that you are doing is rubbish. Mm -hmm. And it is said that love endures all yeah. things. So, so that's what it is. So, if you have that love, it to, to help you to endure things. So, it's not a question of oh, because if you <coughs> carry out the service to God, and then towards the end you fall away, you fall away. Wow. But you see, <coughs> God Himself is the person that uh, makes the final decision, okay. in the sense that He has covered Himself by its every statement in the Bible. Okay. When he says that, blessed are those to whom God does not do what? Impute sin on them. Okay. If it is the will of God that he should take you, he will take you. Okay. Because God has shown this. See, for example, the thief on the cross with our Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now, this man did Christ a good turn. It is said that that man who was nailed on the cross the same, on, on, on cross the same day with our Lord Jesus Christ, was the man that saved our Lord Jesus Christ as a baby when Joseph and Mary were taking him to Egypt. You see, the armed robbers were there, so made them on the road, and then were trying to raid them. But this man came and said, no, 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 because of this baby, let them go. They said, no, no, he said, okay, whatever you would have lost, are you understanding? Yes, whatever you would have lost in leaving this people to do, that he was going to pay. Eventually, they let him go. Okay. This man never met. He was an armed robber. But he never met our Lord Jesus Christ again till the day of crucifixion. Okay. Yes. He knew our Lord Jesus Christ very well. That was why when the other man on the left was ranting, if you are the son of God, <coughs> save yourself and save us. I said, ah, are you not afraid of God? The man on the right, are you not afraid of God? That we are paying for the... Uh, uh, I mean, we, we, we are... We are Having the consequences of our, and we are paying for the consequences of our actions. Okay. This man has done nothing. We should be crucified because we were armed robbers, we were red dead people. Okay. He now rebuked the other man okay. and then turned around to Christ and said, Lord, mm, remember me when you go into your kingdom. Okay. Now, this is one good turn where God can decide not to impute sin on that. That man was an armed robber. Okay. But on that very last day, Christ decided to forget his sins and then say, Today that shall be with me in him. So you see, you see, God, it is only God that can take that sort of decision. No man. Okay. But unfortunately, we do not know who we are. Okay. You do not even know the person that will come under the cover of God not imputing sin on the person. We don't even know what we are. So that was why our Lord Jesus Christ gave us those two examples. The example of Judas Iscariot, who followed Christ to the end, and at the very last minute, he fell off. Okay. And then also the thief, who was a thief throughout. But because of the good turn he did to our Lord Jesus Christ when he was a baby, he remembered him and blessed him and took him to heaven. So this is a prerogative of God himself, and nobody can query it. So that is why he has put all those verses in the Bible, so that any state, anything that God does is regarded as righteous and right. You never, you never uh, commits any wrong. Okay, um, you really said a whole lot today, your Lordship. But before we go, we would like you to um, throw one or two words to our viewers about the new kingdom of God. What do you think they should look out for? And how do you think they should see the kingdom of God? Just a few advice. Thank you, you know? very much. Mm -hmm. The truth is that the new kingdom of God is suddenly going to come down. Okay. Because in Matthew 6, verse 10, our Lord Jesus Christ expressly requested his father okay. to let that kingdom, how the kingdom is operating in heaven, to operate on earth. Okay. And God replied in Revelation 21, verse 3, okay. that He's going to come down to establish the tabernacle of God on earth with men. In Revelation 21, 3, 4, 5 down, you see where he says there shall be no more tears, no more death, no more sickness, and all that. Okay. So which means that those two instances confirm the fact that the kingdom of God will come down on earth. But the problem, what we are appealing to man to do, is to live a righteous and truthful life on earth. Uh, even if you live that truth and righteous life, and you give, like, go and read First uh, Corinthians 13 from verse 1 to 10, mm -hmm. you realize that even if you do all those things, give yourself to be bought, give out all the 
uh, goodies to people and do all those things, have faith to move mountains, see visions and prophesy. <coughs> I'm sorry. And these prophecies are correct. Okay. If you don't endure to the end, which means you don't have an attribute of love and you don't endure to the end, you are, you are nothing. So that is the reason why s salvation does not just end in proclaiming that Christ is my Lord and then Savior. Yeah, okay. It has to, you must add to it putting the words of God into right. practice. Okay. Having the spirit of love and then that spirit of love will give you the spirit of endurance. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't endure to the end, you don't even know where you belong to. Nobody knows. Wow. It's only God that can say, you know, can, that, that can decide where man belongs to. Okay. All that is understood. Yes. So that's my advice to people. Okay, thank you very much, sir. You really educated us on this topic. So there you have it, guys. From our bishop, he has said it all. He has said the kingdom of God will definitely come and it will be here on earth. And all that is needed is for us to put the words of Christ, Christ to practice and then that we should endure till the end. So, guys, please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more on lifestyle and beliefs. See you guys next time. Thank you.